same way that you set boundaries for other people, you first need to start by setting these boundaries, these rules for yourself. So for example, I can give you some of the rules and boundaries that I personally use. Rule number one, I do not check email or social media until four o'clock every day. Don't look at it beforehand, don't check the tweets, don't look at social, don't look at the email, nothing. In fact, I don't even get any of these notifications sent to my phone, completely disabled. Another rule that I have for myself is I don't take meetings where people just want to pick my brain, where people just wanna ask me a question. The same thing for phone calls, because I get a lot of these requests every week, and if I start to say yes to them, I find that it turns into like this big snowball, and eventually my entire day goes by, my week goes by, and I realize that I haven't actually done anything for myself to build my business, to build my own career. So I don't do any of those types of meetings. I don't take any of those types of phone calls. Another rule that I have for myself, no television in the bedroom, no technology during mealtimes. So no technology during breakfast, during lunch, during dinner. And I actually have a home office, so you can imagine that this is even more challenging for me because I'm constantly around uh, these devices and these technologies. But when I'm with family, when I'm eating, uh, no technology around, period. Another rule for myself is I always try to be healthy. I try to eat healthy, I try to look after myself, I make time to exercise, whether I'm traveling or whether I'm home here in the Bay Area, I always make time for myself to try to be healthy. It's a big personal rule for myself and for my family. Another rule that I have for myself is I don't take any calls or meetings before 9 a.m. or after 5 p.m. Before 9 a.m., I'm with my daughter, I'm helping her get ready for school, for daycare. Five o'clock, she comes home, we have dinner, we spend time together. So no calls, no meetings before 9 a.m. or after 5 p.m. Two more that I'll throw at you. Uh, I always make time for family. That's a rule for myself. And this has been one that I have struggled with a lot. Uh, saying no to work, closing the computer, and spending time with family. Uh, I know this is probably something that you struggle with as well. For me, it's particularly challenging because, as I'm sure any entrepreneur will tell you this, when you work for yourself, you feel like you constantly can and should be doing things to build and grow. Like, it's, it's just never ending. And so it's been very hard for me to close the computer, to put away the phone, to not do any work, and to just be present, just be in the moment, spending time with my family. So I try very, very hard to do that as well. The last rule that I'll throw your way might sound a little weird, but I don't do any meetings or any calls of any kind on Monday, on Wednesday, or on Friday. This used to be a rule that I implemented for myself just for Wednesdays, and when I did that, Wednesdays became my favorite day of the week because I knew that come Wednesday, I don't have to worry about anything. I don't go to the gym on Wednesdays, and I have no calls and meetings scheduled on Wednesdays. So I literally have a free day to do whatever I want, to structure it how I want, to focus on projects that I wanna work on. Nothing is dictating or shaping my day. And I found that on Wednesdays, I was extremely productive. I was just able to crush all sorts of projects and tasks on my to-do list. I was having a lot of fun. I was enjoying Wednesdays almost as much as I was enjoying the weekends. And so recently I put this new rule in place where I said, you know what, I'm gonna take that no meeting Wednesday and I'm gonna expand it a little bit. So no meetings Mondays, Wednesdays, or Fridays. Now those are just some of the rules that I have for myself. You might have your own set of rules. If you don't, I encourage you to just pause this video, take a couple minutes, and think about the rules that you want to have in place for yourself. The ones that are gonna give you some kind of structure that will then shape the things that you should be saying yes and no to. Athena and I hope you enjoyed that. If you want more content like that, check out futureofworkpodcast.com. And do me a favor, please review the podcast on Apple Podcasts or whatever your preferred channel is. Thank you very much.